Hey Scorpio, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations and this just in. This is where we get all up in other folks' business about love and relationships. This reading will be good for Sun, Moon, and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and or Rising. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. It just won't. This is your general love reading for June 2018. We are already five days in and the moon is currently in Pisces. Scorpio, I want to say as I got ready to start your reading, uh, I, I mean, like, just for a moment, maybe a couple of moments, things got eerily still. It was only just now that maybe somebody's air fresh, uh, air freshener, air conditioner compressor on the outside broke the silence. But it got eerily still in the best way, with the exception of a very slight breeze. Um, I mean, it was, it was, God. It was a funky good time. I mean, it was like a, a funky, great moment of, I can't even explain it, type stillness. I'm a Scorpio rising, Scorpio moon, so I felt that shit. It was great. And I really hate whoever it is that's got your air on right now. Man, banana. <laughs> just, just really just ruined everything. All right. Scorpio. Scorpio. I'm just in that kind of mood. Scorpio. Let's see what's going on in love and relationships with the big dogs out here. Scorpio. I'm pulling my standard three cards and you know, I just been kind of taking it as it comes with every sign. If I need to draw other cards, I do. If I don't, I don't. Ooh, Scorpio, I can already, what is going on? I can already tell that you have three reverse cards. I'm using the uh, Everyday Witch by Deborah Blake. And, you know, it's almost, I, I love this deck. It has quickly become um, one of my favorite decks. But I think what I kind of don't like about it is the fact that I can see right off that whether cards are reversed or right, just based on the picture on the back. Now, all reverse cards aren't bad cards. I just get a little uh, anxious when I see the cards are coming up like that, and I haven't even turned them over. So, but let's go. Okay, we have got the devil reversed. Now, see, that's good. That's good. See, I just said all reverse cards aren't bad cards. The devil reversed. That's a big deal. He's the 15th major arcana. The next card is the, I'm sorry, the Six of Pentacles reversed. All right. Six of Pentacles reversed. And the last card is the Four of Cups reversed. Also. Okay, so this, this wasn't a problem at all. We have got... Like I said, the devil, 15th major arcana, reverse. So what this says is that you are not falling for the okie doke. Whatever the okie doke might be. Whatever it is that is trying to entice you um, or, or trying to keep you feeling trapped, you're not taking the bait. Any crutches that you generally lean on, um, vices that you have to get you through right now or as we get into the month of June this is going to become a non-issue for you if, if it hadn't started already you're just not falling for the okie doke you under in the upright position you see you got this really good looking guy and, and he basically got these kids in the headlock. And the, with them being children, I see that more as being, as, as naive, naivety. I think that's how you say that. This is naive people. And I think that's why they are represented as children. But you're not naive. You know what's up. You know what's good. You're not falling for the okie doke. And um, that's just pretty much that. 
The Six of Pentacles, reversed, says that, again, uh, you're not putting out, because generally this is a card about even exchange. This says to me that, Scorpio, you're realizing that in any particular situation, if it's not an even exchange, you know fair exchange ain't no robbery. So if it's not even, Stephen, you leave it. It's really simple. Um, and I don't know if you're leaving something or not. You, you, you could be with the devil reversed because whatever it is that you used to lean on and depend on, like I said, is now a non-issue. You completely understand and are on board with the fact that if you don't get just as much as you put out, then, you know, you can't continue to survive or, or move on or exist. It's just like a gas tank. Or, or maybe somebody in your life is feeling this way. Maybe this is not you. Maybe this is somebody that you're dealing with that you've been fucking over, Scorpio. I hope that's not the case. Because somebody is saying that, no, I don't need this. I'm not about to do this. I'm not getting out of this what I'm putting into it. So, that's a wrap. So I don't know if this is you or somebody that you're dealing with. But um, I was getting ready to say, you know, it's, it's like having a car. You put gas in it and provided that everything's up and running and functioning co correctly, you put gas in it, you get mileage and distance out of it. You get from A to B because you put gas in the car. And you get exactly out of your car what you put into it. You put $60 worth of gas in there, then you get $60 worth of gas mileage. You get five on five, well, especially when gas prices creeping up, you're lucky if you make it down the block. So, you know, somebody is seeing that, you know, no. If you're not giving me what I'm giving you, then there's no giving. And the reason that I say that is because we got the Four of Cups reversed. Now, generally, like in the upright position, you got somebody who's concentrating on what once was or, you know, when things were. And there's uh, something being offered to them that they don't see or that they choose to ignore. Well, in reverse, you're looking at everything. Whatever your options are, you're like, yeah, I'm willing to peep that out. Let me see it. Let me see what's really good. Uh, you know, even if there was something in your life that was once good to you and it seemed like a celebration, you are definitely willing to give a little energy to whatever else might be out there. Um... Scorpio, for those of you who might be looking at who's out there, I want to pull one more card and see who that person is or uh, just what they might be about, what this is about. So I'm going to clarify on the Four of Cups. You know, I, I thought about clar clarifying on the devil, but you, you know what your addiction is. You know what your vice is. You know what your weakness is. We don't have to tell that to everybody. So uh, I just want to see what it is that you might be looking at. And it doesn't have to be a person. You might just, you might have a, a new feeling towards a something that makes you feel good. Whether it's your creativity or, you know, nurturing yourself or whatever. I just want to see what it is that you have finally decided to give some attention to. And that's why we're going to pull this other card. Right. Real quick, the cards, the cards. Okay, it's the chariot. The chariot is the seven major arcana, and you have decided to give your attention to seeing what else is out there. You don't even you don't have a name right there right now, but you just know that there is something else out there, and you are willing to. Get on the road and find out what it is.
you may have been trying to figure out what to do or which way to go but now I think since you have decided to um, unbind yourself from whatever chains that have been holding you you know life is a highway and you're gonna ride it all night long and um, you might be a little fearful at first but I think willpower and confidence and the desire to do right by self is gonna help you make a decision on which way you want to go and what you want to do and I don't think that any decision you make at this point is going to be the wrong decision the scales are going to be balanced so far as I'm concerned either way there's going to be light and dark on every journey you know if you take a journey long enough it's going to be daytime for a while it's going to be nighttime for a while the light and the dark there's going to be do a duality on that journey sometimes you're going to feel great other times you're going to feel tired and over it but either way what you see is just yeah I'm, I'm out I'm out I'm just gonna do what I do yeah I, I just oh uh, Scorpio the bottom line is I, I feel like in the month of June you're gonna start feeling like whatever it was that you felt held you down and had you chained you're over it or this could be somebody you're dealing with like I said so if you were messing somebody over prepare for this to be a thing in your life it's still I mean it's thing in your life either way but prepare to be the recipient of somebody saying you know life is a highway and I'm gonna ride it all night long so peace out and that's the way that I see it so I, I thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to talk to you guys again next month